this is the read juvenate so you are supposed to use regular Listerine. I don't know if you can use the knockoff yellow Listerine, but I already know the effects of Listerine and it works, but I don't particularly like the way it makes my reeds taste and I don't like the way it makes my case smell. I've used Listerine, I've used water, hydrogen peroxide, I've used vodka, beer, I've used white vinegar, and they are all effective to a certain degree, but in my opinion, still nothing and I mean nothing compares to the effectiveness of hydrogen peroxide as far as keeping a reed sanitary so let's open this thing up and then we'll see what we have you can also get this in orange so you open this up you have this sponge here you can adjust how soaked this sponge is with your Listerine and on the inside you have these little white plates like this you can use these if you're using this with soprano sax or clarinet reeds if I can fit this just right you can fit your clarinet reed in like this red part and then you can fit another smaller reed over in this section right here if you're using alto or tenor sax or berry sax reeds then you're supposed to take this thing out so let's take these out and here you have a magnet and then you have this thing here little Willy Wonka candy looking thing and as you can see this kind of slides in and around like this fits inside here put that in there like that pretty simple stuff all right, ladies and gentlemen, so I've had this product now for about two and a half weeks, and it I'm convinced it does what they say it does. It cost me $30 on Amazon to get this, so after having used it for about two and a half weeks, I just wondered to myself, you know, I can probably make something very similar to this for a whole lot cheaper than $30. So let me show you what I've come up with. And then I'll give you my overall assessment of the Reed Cure, the Rejuvenate, and the Sir Valor Sachs Cheap Kit. All right, let's get to it. All right, so I'm sure you guys are probably looking at this like, what in the world is he about to do with his reeds with some parsley flakes and some bacon pieces? All right, so if I'm going to try to recreate this rejuvenate thing here I need a container so these are excellent containers that you can pick up at the dollar store this costs a dollar this costs a dollar I wasn't sure how my reeds would fit in the smaller one or how my reeds would fit in the bigger one here so I just bought both of these clearly you want to take the food out the bacon pieces and the parley flakes rinse the thing out make sure it's all nice and good this cap as you can see it's just sealed like this from the top. This cap, on the other hand, has a type of gradient separation. On one side, you can pour more out. On the other side, you can pour less out. However, for me, I'm going to use this as a type of moisture system, where if I want more moisture to evaporate, I'll use the more open one and less on the other one. So we have our container here. This thing comes with a sponge. So I got myself a sponge at the dollar store. I'm just going to tear off a piece of this thing. Or you don't really need a sponge at all. You can get yourself some cotton balls here. So over here, I have this three-pack travel bottles container thing here. I'm most concerned. I bought it for this one right here because it has a spray bottle. I'm going to actually fill this with hydrogen peroxide and then use this to spray down my reeds. It comes with a cap and let's say I want to use this larger container here that I picked up at the dollar store. I pour all this other parsley stuff out or eat it and use it to actually season my food. Clean this thing and now I have a container and over here I have my spray bottles. So for three dollars I can recreate what this reed juvenate is doing for me. Okay ladies and gentlemen so I opened up this parsley thing here. I cleaned that all out and as you can see I can clearly fit three reeds in here now I have always stored my reeds 
because I play Van Dorns in the Van Dorn case thing that they come with. So you can very, very easily fit three reads in there. You can actually get more. So I'm going to take some time and I'm going to use that for my reads and see how that turns out and see if it's comparable to the Rejuvenate and also the Reed Cure. So it's been about a week since I started with this to try to see what kind of moisture I would get with my reads and how that would turn out using this $4 kit that I came up with as a reed moisture uh, preservation device. And I am overwhelmingly surprised as to how effective this has been. It's been so effective, ladies and gentlemen, that I actually oversaturated my reeds. I didn't realize it would be able to retain that much moisture for so long. So when I set this up, I completely soaked one cotton ball in Listerine and I had another cotton ball with uh, hydrogen peroxide. I put both of those in there. I had a little bit of moisture at the bottom that you could see and then I poured that out. And then I put my three reeds in and then I came back like five days later just to see what would happen. And the reeds were so wet that they actually warped around the thing that I put the reeds in. And there was a different level of moisture on the inside than there was on the outside because I like massively overdid it. So if you're gonna do something like this, I would recommend that you actually start with the least amount of moisture just to see what kind of like humidity you can retain. Now I have a good system. I think I soaked this with about halfway with hydrogen peroxide. I lightly sprayed the inside of this. Before I actually put my reeds in here, I treated them with hydrogen peroxide. I just shook the excess moisture off, put them in, and then sealed it. And for the last couple of days, it's been extraordinarily good at retaining moisture. So just keep in mind that you can seriously overdo it. Uh, one of the things that I like about this more than I like about the Reed Juvenate is that if you fill this with water and you pour it out, water will actually leak. So this thing will actually evaporate moisture just from having the cap on it. I actually like that where the Reed Juvenate has got like the rubber seal and it seals it pretty tight. But uh, for me, I like being able to just vent this thing out if the humidity is a little too high. This is sweet. It's a very nice alternative, and this is what I use now. So you get a bag of cotton balls for a dollar. You get this container for a dollar. You get the hydrogen peroxide spray bottle for a dollar. The hydrogen peroxide for a dollar. So four dollars or thirty dollars or one hundred dollars for the reed cure.